see an enemy, like a symbiotic uh, relationship within an, an, an enemy that was wrapped all the way around its shell. Um, and those often provide a little bit of protection for the crab because now you've got like a stinging, stinging cells on the, on the shell. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, got another urchin. Where did it zoom? I love sea urchins. They're such oh, it's cool moving. creatures. Oh, yeah, he's moving pretty quick. He's trucking. He's coming at Hello. me. <laughs> coming for you. It's going to take an ROV down all by itself. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Can we get some stills? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very Thank cute. You. Nice. Hey, little bud. Wow, it is moving fast. Yeah. They're also echinoderms, so they're related to sea stars and sea cucumbers. So they have tube feet on the underside that you might be able to see in the video moving it along. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. They're really fun to hold in your hand because you can see the tube feet and all their spines yeah. actually do move as well. Have you ever, There's like... a brittle star coming into so focus on the bottom walk. right. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. If you've yeah. ever, like, poked a sea urchin, some of the larger ones, when you put your finger like in between the they spines like yeah they like close around it so we call it a sea urchin hug i was gonna say they hug you yes. yeah it's so cute so awesome <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and zoom out a couple more questions coming in uh another the crap. hercules oh, does have a scoop but we don't oh, have yeah, it currently okay. installed on hercules um, and um as far as getting samples up you know there's Having coral and sponge and all sorts of different things, we have the. Uh, Is that a crab on the bottom left? We have the yeah. slurp. That was crab. We have the arms, and our crew's pretty good at making sure that what we uh, try to bring up doesn't get mangled. What is? Is that something like center screen right there? Zoom in. Is it just the ground? It might just be the ground. Is it like tan? Oh. It's Can't nothing. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Seaweed. Something. It does look like something. It's just hard to tell because it's kind of clearer. Mm -hmm. Right. Good eye. So Peyton, we have a question coming in about how do urchins find their food? That's a good question. It depends on the urchin species. So. They do have like chemoreceptors, so kind of like scent receptors that they're able to use to smell. Um, most urchins eat algae. They have five teeth on their bot on the underside. Um, it's really cool. It's like five pointed, like symmetrical. It's called an Aristotle's lantern. And so, traditionally, like in a lot of uh, like kelp forest ecosystems, urchins will eat uh, all parts of kelp. But they really like hold fast, which are the pieces that like hold them down and because those are attached to the bottom they'll pretty much just like crawl along until they find bits of like kelp to start munching on um at the aquarium at least we'll sometimes also feed them directly with pieces of kelp and it's really cool because you can actually see as they like sense it drawing near and as they start to taste it they'll actually close their spines in around it and then they'll start using their tube feet to move it all the way to the bottom where their mouth is Nice. Yeah, we fell, fed our urchins kelp as well yeah. at the... They're really cute. They're so <laughs> cute. They're my favorite. Yeah. No, my I think my favorite thing that we had was we had an armored star. Ooh. And so it would, like, it would dig into the sand, so it would only come out if I fed it, mm -hmm. like, and only once a week or so, but whenever wow. it did, I always, like, picked it up right and held it for a while. Screen. It's just a really cool sea star. Wow. We had um, Pacific Spiny Love Suckers. Okay. which are like the most awkward fish yes they're like little submarines trying to like swim with fins it's really funny oh. um and they've got a little like sucker on their underside and they just oh, stick to stuff fish. On the right. fish. Hey. another fish on the top left <laughs> what? what is this yellow oh no it's just right i wonder Red if that's what we zoomed in earlier something similar yeah go and zoom next to that reddish thing yeah so there is a size limit in terms of uh, what we can sample. It's essentially what we can uh, fit yeah. in our bio boxes, in our uh, tanks. What's that? Um, I think that's an anatomy. Look, yeah, like a small one. It's a really cool. Oh, anatomy. there's a small little. A brittle brittle, star. brittle star. Oh my oh gosh! Wait, it's got like a little point. Cone on top. Yeah. 
Get some oh. stills of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Hannah, what else are we specifically looking for in terms of requests? For samples, we have representative rocks again. Okay. Any corals, um, sea pens, which you got, any uh, gorgonians, and then any invertebrates that are one millimeter or larger in size. Do we still need five of something, or is that... Yeah, any organisms and five species of them, if we see five of something clustered nearby each other, we can, we can snag them. And then we're definitely going to try to do maybe two transects-ish this watch. We'll All see. Right. There's not a whole lot here, so kind of wait till we get to a little more interesting area. <laughs> Just kind of play it by ear and hopefully it gets a little more interesting then we'll start a transect. What's on the right hand side there? It's Ooh, another it's anemone. Anemone and there's a crab, there's a crab too crab. or something. Looks like a crab. It's a pretty large anemone. Can I get the pie powered on? Oh uh, yeah. You're Can on. I go ahead and zoom, Thank Scott? You. Yeah, go ahead. Is that another squat lobster? I think so. Cute. This one's got little white tips on its tentacles, too. And bulbous tips. Mm. Can we check out that crab on the left? He's got, uh, yeah. Awesome. It looks pretty big. Ooh. Is that, that a, a crab or is it like? I wonder if it's a mole. If Are squat not. lobsters yeah. technically crabs? Let me check. I'm not sure. I think so. How many arms do they have? Right crabs lobsters. have ten arms, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. I am not a biologist. <laughs> so squat lobsters are in a different group from both crabs and lobsters. They're in um, Same one as the hermit decapod, crabs and mole crabs. Yeah, infraorder Anomura. Looks like a hermit right next to it. So they're not true crabs, but they're very closely related to crabs. And I guess also could just loosely be called crabs. Oh, urchin. Or sorry, not urchin. There's a little jellyfish. Oh, an Argus cam? Yeah, an Argus cam. Very cute. We ready? Move on? Yeah. They're full wide, Scott. Thank you, full wide. So they're more closely related to the uh, little mole crabs you can find on the beach. Once they dig their little holes in. Still your bubble camera? Go for it. Not a lot of rock options so far.
Is the ship still moving? We have a question about why there doesn't seem, <coughs> excuse me, to be uh, a higher bio density, especially since we're uh, shallower in this area. Sorry, guys, I'm putting on a sweater. <laughs> I didn't no hear. <laughs> <laughs> Can you repeat it? I heard there was a question. We have a question from a viewer about um, any thoughts as you might have as to why um, there might be. A lower biodensity in this area, especially since we've been moving up and they're at a, a shallower depth of what we've explored previously. There's a lot of sand, but like on the dive yesterday, we did have quite a few anemones and whatnot. So that could be maybe the currents and where animals are settling after they're um, from the water column settling down. And for whatever reason, it could be a result of the currents. Um, or they're just not able to really latch on, or there's not a sufficient supply of food. Mm -hmm. Those could be potential reasons. Um, my guess would be when maybe when we start hitting some rock higher up, like we did yesterday, that hopefully we'll see some more life. Yeah, it seems to be pretty barren here. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Lots of crustaceans, though. There has been. This is true. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep continuing um, up this ridge. We'll, we're heading north, northeast is the direction we're heading, more or less in a straight line. Yeah, is that a fish? On the left? Yeah, on the left. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Can you zoom in? Could be one of those ones that's very committed to not moving. <laughs> yep. What are is. those? Giant Their eyes are eyes. so big, yeah. <laughs> so colorful. I was conveniently just oh, looking this cute. up. I think they're chloropthalmas, similar to the one that we found the other day. Oh, its fins are different, though. Oh, that's a cute photo. It's got Thanks. big eyes. Smile, buddy. <gasps> oh. Cute. And its tail is very... He's just standing there on his legs. Yeah. yeah. Fins. It's got a bit of an unusual shaped mouth. Yeah, large. It jets out. What are you? Small little guy. About 550 meters. What really large ventral fin. Thanks viewers for sending in those questions. We haven't seen any pelican eels recently. Um, and that reason for the sea cucumbers is still probably the same or the lack thereof. Maybe uh, not a lot of food in this area. Scott, we have a question coming in about how much power does it take to uh, operate Hercules? You want to answer that, Summer? How much, uh. how much power is going down the cable? Yeah, so uh, we send, we have a lot of conversions happening, but we send 2,400 volts and 45 amps down. About. Something on the right. And the um, it's three phase power. Um, it goes to through Argus, and then it gets stepped down in some transformers um, to supply all the power on Argus, and then uh, mm -hmm. goes down to Hercules and to the HPU. Um, motor and it gets um, also stepped down into different for the different um, components on Hercules that need you know DC power yeah it gets rectified yeah. for the DC um, instruments and everything so yeah it's quite a bit of conversions then Ooh. yeah Look so it comes from the ship and it gets converted from ship yep. power because this is a are you good yeah, it slows in. European Ooh. ship, so it's got a different frequency, um, so it gets converted that, that first time. Mm. Is that and a south, maybe? Through. Oh, no, that's no, a Tina 4. It's like a Tina 4, yeah. Other that's stuff. gorgeous. Thanks, yeah. Summer. You're welcome. Uh, it's yeah. like something from out of space. Yeah. I think it's a Tina 4. For I think sure. it's a Tina 4, yeah. too. I can kind of see, like, the. the can I um, zoom in more, Scott? Yeah, go ahead. The bell top. 
Uh, yeah, I was lo kind of looking at the the rainbow shaped. Um, so the small little the crab right there. Uh -huh. Great, great view. Oh yeah, combs. Great the zoom. comb rows. You Look can kind of see colors. the iridescence yeah. on them yeah. too. Yeah. He is really hard to focus on. I know. Oh, yeah. for sure. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Oh, he's Ooh. Ooh. There, there you go. go. There Elijah you go. Is beautiful. Nice. He's a rainbow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And so those are the yeah. rows of little cilia or like combs out, that are oh, beating together. Okay. And so they actually are refracting light to create these beautiful rainbow effects as they swim. Wow, good spot. Nice eye, you guys. That beautiful. was really oh, cool. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's so beautiful. I hope you see some more of those. There's a small All right, I can get going. Yep. Okay. okay. Yep. Thank you. I followed as long as I could. Oh, that was great. Full wide. We have a question about the uh, lack of bivalves at this depth. Ooh. Would our science row like to provide some other thoughts on that? Um, for lack of bivalves, um, yeah, you would think we would see more. We are in a sandy habitat bottom. Some of them um, might be hidden beneath I the sand. I was just going to say right? they might be under and we're just yeah. not seeing them at all. Mm -hmm. We're not able to catch them. They're either they're not showing any part of themselves. It could be yeah. it. A lot of bivalves will stick their siphon um, up into the water column whilst being pretty much completely covered in sand. So unless you have really, really good eyes and can spot a little tiny siphon sticking out, we probably won't be able to spot that many. Sometimes you might see like a little mound yeah. maybe. Or like the little holes too. Out, yeah, the sand after they've, they've filtered through it for mm -hmm. their food. But yeah, we haven't seen any. Oh, there's something in the middle of the screen. Is that a shrimp? I think, yeah, a possum shrimp or a mycid. Yep. Are those the same thing? No. Okay. There's a fish at 12 o'clock. Oh, yeah, 12 o'clock. Oh, tiny guy. a possum shrimp is also known as mycidae. For the viewers watching on the quad view, the back row is currently being shown on the lower left-hand side. There's all the scientists that we keep asking questions to when we say, hey, science. I thought you were just going to leave it at all the scientists we keep. <laughs> it's all the scientists we keep, you know, <laughs> just keep to ask questions. Keep them in the back. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, opossum shrimp are another word for mycids, which is kind of cool. They're called opossum shrimp because they have a little brood, brood pouch uh, to carry their young, or at least their eggs. Oh, the fact that their larvae are reared in this pouch and not free swimming characterizes the order. Oh, that's super cool. Cool. Shrimp are great, you guys. Uh, oh, Peyton. <laughs> <laughs> Question coming in about what's the scariest thing you've seen on a dive. I think the scariest thing I've seen is the trash we keep finding. Ooh. Yeah, hey, last dive we I saw would two agree things, right? Sad. I, mean, I think we saw three. There was a toilet red cover, yeah. toilet, like there was a tile, tile or something. The red toilet cover and what else did we see? I thought we saw one more thing. I don't. I think I only logged two. There might have been another one that I missed, but we saw I think some plastic on the seafloor last week. Mm, yeah. And it's like scary thinking about even these deep water environments and even in areas like this that are relatively isolated and protected, still having influence, like human influence. Yeah, it's unfortunate what we're purposely and also inadvertently doing to our planet. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, zoom in. Okay. Now I didn't have my microphone on. In my mouth. What are we looking for? Uh, I thought I saw a uh, fish down there. Mm. Ah. Oh, there is one sort of there it is. bottom left. Oh, yeah. yep. There's a little fish. Good nice spot. Eye. He's swimming at us. One of those Howdy. rat tails. To my bio box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to zoom in. Oh, oh there's them. two. 
Just one right up. Two. Hey, Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> Try to slurp them up. They do have a very Now we just need three like more to swim up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 They're freaking out. <laughs> so he's about Ooh. 10 centimeters long. He is about 10 centimeters long. Look at that. So those two lasers on the screen are 10 centimeters apart. Um, they help us measure what's... I think the grenadiers is the right group. Let me okay. check. There's a couple different fish that have like that sort of extended tail. I think grenadiers is... Yeah, I'm gonna guess, but maybe I should keep looking. Great question about if we saw an animal stuck in some piece of trash, um, if would we potentially be able to free it? Um, my guess is if we did find a, a creature that was stuck in something like that, it probably would be too late. But Are you good if we zoom on Argus? Yeah, go ahead. Can you zoom on Argus? Yes, yes we Have can. Nah, uh, you can go all the way. I just want to look at that bright. Do you want me to brighten it a little? Uh, sure. We got another urchin on Herx cam. Are those all Sparosoma species, the same one we saw before? How's that? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it there while I look at the urchin really quick. Scott, I'm going to zoom yeah. in. Yep. Jeez. <laughs> it's <laughs> a little snappier time. up here, isn't it? Yeah. All right, getting some screen captures on this bad boy. Show us your tube feet. <laughs> Actually, here, let me see if I can zoom in and look at him as he moves. Oh, you want me to flip him over? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Let him be. That'd be a little mean. It's almost like sunset colors. What's that? Oh, it's like what's that? It's the camera. It's the laser. <laughs> Looks more. There's a brittle star. That really straight too. green thing. <laughs> New species. <laughs> Is that another crab on the right hand side? Just went out of frame. Mm -hmm. Seventy. Mm, I didn't think I saw it. Uh, three and a half hours. We got time. I'm gonna say it's probably in that group, but you can go wide on Argus. Yeah, not moving. Looks similar, but I guess all of them are still kind of third day. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. After our last uh, dive in this area, I was expecting to see more. It's just waiting to surprise. I think we're deeper than when we initially hit the rocks, so it hopefully we'll hit some rocks again, and it'll become interesting. Find some I rocks, not so. hit some rocks. Yeah, thank you. Let's hit it Let's on. That. A little sea star on the left. Oh, yeah, look at that. I think you tell if that lined up, I'll zoom in. Stuck to her cam, or if that's just on our screen. Sorry. Pardon? But yeah, there's a fly on our screen. Oh, there's a fly? I know, I keep looking at it. I know, I keep seeing it too. <laughs> get it. Hopefully, Patrick. by the time we get to our next waypoint, W2, we'll start to see more. That's about where we started to see where are you? a lot of rock Star. yesterday. Ooh, got around that furry, same furry depth boots. contour. Really cool star. Boots with the fur. Oh, yeah, right. look at that. Big. Big tube feet. 
rocking those boots. <laughs> Are there four more of them in the area? Would you like to do a reset on me before you... you want to do a reset on me before uh, you take it away? There's a brittle star at about 5 o'clock. Uh, yep. Good. Oh, yeah. I see him. Keep hoping for that group of five. <laughs> and maybe something above it in our 11 o'clock as well. I just saw that. I don't know. Like if a little any... speck of orange? So, yeah, yeah, there's like something orange, orange up there. Not sure what it is. By a white thing that's moving. A white thing? Oh. Nope. It's a. <gasps> Whoa. Battle Whoa. of the Crabs. Here we go. Oh. It's on. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a look big, how big claw. His claw is. What's he carrying? I is think it's his claw. Oh, maybe. Oh, is that is like it? a smaller or version of what we. Yeah, they just have like really enlarged. I think that's his left claw. Oh my Le gosh, left it's or right so claw. Big. That are just really big. Right. Oh, wow. They're ready to throw down. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Did you get some photos, Peyton? Yes. Awesome. That's full zoom, Peyton. Awesome. Interesting. This rock here is like a reddish color. All the rubble. The ships. So the question about, has Hercules ever got stuck somewhere? Oh, there's somewhere? a fish. Nope. Yeah, a fish. Just right to the right of the lasers. It's a blue one. Can you zoom in on that? Yeah. If that's possible. It's hanging on the bottom. Hey. Oh. I don't think we've seen one of these before. Well, oh. Oh. <laughs> Too far. There you go. They all have such big eyes. Yeah, they're Huge. Huge. Well, there's not as much Since light in the deep. Fish? So. Yeah. Do you ever think that, like, the amount of light we put out damages their eyes? From the ROV? Yeah. I don't know if it would damage it. It probably blinds them because they never see anything that bright. Mm -hmm. um, I think if it was hurting them, they could easily swim away. Yeah, the true. Yeah. I think, you know, just like for us, if someone shines a bright flashlight in your eye or car lights, right, it's really abrupt and may see like some spots afterwards maybe they see something similar i'm not sure oh there's maybe something on the left screen. i think it's another squat lobster, lobster. Yeah. yeah oh cool yeah thank you yeah walking backwards <coughs> so hercules is rated to a depth of four thousand meters so we don't take uh hercules anywhere beyond that and i don't think we typically try to test the limits of taking it right up to four thousand meters anyways but uh, we also have a two ROV system. So our two ROV system means that you're viewing Hercules right now, but if you're in uh, channel two in the quad, or if you're just in channel two in general, oh. you can see Argus, which is our see eyes something? in the There was something that sky. passed in front of her cam moving upwards. It looked like a shrimp or something yeah, like that. I think it was that. a shrimp. And Argus actually um, helps us pilot Hercules. It helps us uh, make sure we're not running into anything. We can see all the areas around it. It also takes the heave of the ship as you go up and down and move around with the current and the waves and the wind. Uh, so Hercules remains pretty stable and can do what it needs to so we don't get it into an area we don't want it to get into. Hmm. Is this, is this a slope we're starting to encounter? It looks like we're going downhill. Well, maybe now it's slightly up. Looks like we're hitting some weather again. Yeah. Wind hmm. is I think there's another urchin knots. there in the middle. Hmm. What is that? I think it's an urchin. Yeah, it looks like it. There's also something which I believe is another squat lobster on the right. 
There's a lot of those down here. Can we just collect multiple squat lobsters, even if they're right next to each other? Would that count? Yeah, it would. You can zoom in on that. Can we slurp them, or would we have to try to grab them all? Because I don't think they could be grabbed well. I, yeah, I was just going to say, I don't know. I don't know how they would do being slurped either. Ooh. Oh, there's a, there's a fish in uh, Argusview just swam right to Hercules' aft port. A big one? Uh, yeah, oh. see it in the camera? Oh, oh, oh it's right behind us. Wow. Oh, it you looks pretty big. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's Can Hercules it. whip around and try Can and we? see it? Yeah. I'm going to try. It's uh, a big fish. Yeah. All right, Scott, whip around, open up the bio box, and do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we have the C pen in there. You have to do it with the starboard bio box. <laughs> uh, still there. He's still there, yeah. That's a big one. He is pretty big. He's probably like a one three five heading where he was. There oh, sorry. He is. Oh, there he Land is. Oh, beautiful. Oh, what is that? Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, buddy. Kind of looks like a permit, but it's Look really at its small. eyes. It does look like so a permit. Shimmery. A small. Wow. Very oh. shimmery. It's He's so shiny. <laughs> look how like shiny he is. Is it made out he of almost has like over. a mean looking <laughs> face. <laughs> I almost did Zoom it. Zoom out? Oh, sorry. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Zoom. The way it's swimming Lead is really to interesting. The other. Yeah, how he's. Like head down. Yeah. Uh oh. 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 He just hit the bottom. <laughs> Maybe he lost a little bit of navigation because the lights are right here. <laughs> Something. Yeah, he's like slanted down. Almost like he's going to. Does he know? Feed at the sand, but he's yeah. not. He's like, what is this thing following Buddy, me? Buddy, do you know where you are right now? <laughs> you seem to be a bit confused. Oh, there you're coming go. straight at oh. us. Oh. All right. Oh, Open nice. up the box. Okay, I will not. Box I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse. Somebody's got to draw the line. Wow. <laughs> I'm drawing oh, the line. Very cool. <laughs> I don't think we have enough enough ethanol to preserve this fish. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. That's what the freezer's for. Wow, it is gorgeous. <laughs> we'll leave them be now. <laughs> <laughs> Open up the box. <laughs> Where did he go? He took oh, he He's to on the, the right. right. He's on the right-hand side. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see him. I can still follow him if you want. Do we have uh, an ID from the book on him? Um, There's something in the oh, distance, you know too, what? by I the lasers. I can check the book. Another. See if I can he get him to hit the camera dome. Can we get some grabs Shit. of this? Yeah, I've been it's grabbing. It's a great shot. Yeah. Oh, man, you could totally put him in the box. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at this. He might be too big for the box. <laughs> he's yeah, pretty he's big. He definitely is a good size. <laughs> he's just kind of like glancing backwards. Like I think he's like, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> What is this thing following me? What are you? The Argus cam view is pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. pretty cool. We're playing a little bit of follow the leader. <laughs> Lead us to your biology. <laughs> <laughs> Lead us to your leader. Take us to your leader. He's letting us get so close to him. Very yeah, close. Stretched. I'm surprised. Yeah, that's the end of my leash. Yeah. <laughs> Raining them in, people. Raining them in. This All cowboy's right. got to... All right. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That was super cool. <laughs> Just keep swimming. <laughs> keep swimming, swimming. Yeah. Fish aren't tethered. <laughs> 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 they should be. We have a question coming in for the science row about why um, ethanol is our the uh, preserving agent of choice. Ooh, that's a good question. Hana? A, a lot of, let's see, the requests that we've had, um, oh most geez. of yeah. them are for DNA, so usually we people tend to, to use ethanol, although uh, sometimes uh, formalin is another fixative. Let know that the wind's um, coming it up. really just depends what the scientist ashore wants the samples for. So when they f request um, samples for us to take, they'll usually list what 
what fixative they want. And the most mm -hmm. common one is ethanol, and that's what we have on board. I don't know if we have any formalin we or might. any other and fixative. And, like, ethanol is a little less dangerous to work around compared to formalin. Yeah, formalin isn't. It's a pretty <laughs> nasty The fish chemical. is following yeah. us. Wait, what? The fish is following us. Is it really? Yeah. Where is it? Yeah, it's doing around circles on around the back us. Of, yeah. And now oh, it's he in the is. back. <laughs> Aft on the port side. It's just really interested. Huh. Yeah, he's still there. <laughs> Funny. I'm trying to find a fish that looks like this in. Kind of like but I yeah, do. I'm still looking. Yeah. Oh. Can't the find things them. Things look a little different. The the scales look really similar to that yeah. one, though. I don't know. I'm not a fish expert. Neither am I. <laughs> hmm. There's a oh. fish down at our Jillian nine o'clock. <laughs> Jelly. Jelly. Oh, where? Argus. Argus. Just drifted by. Oh, I missed him. It's cute. None of me? Nope. Oh. Yes, indeed. Yep. Are we mapping this area? The fish just came by again on our backside. <laughs> now leave us alone, fish. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's following us. I wonder if the anemone's feeding. What if the swish or the fish swim directly into it? <laughs> I'm sure that anemone would eat them. Yeah, it would absolutely try. Definitely. Be a would. pretty big meal for it. Oh yeah, it'd be a huge meal. They'll hang on to it and they'll just slowly, slowly, slowly digest it. Though I think he might have something. Oh yeah, the tentacles are kind of tucked into the uh, mouth. Yeah, yeah on that I left side, right. I think he's eating. He's kind of blown up too. It's usually how they look when they're eating something. Oh, there's What's something there to the, the right? right, the white, clear, transparent something. What is that? Can we get a zoom in on that? Yeah, I think it's a crab. Angles it a little bit. Because he's gonna sit down, right? Yeah. Because okay. there's something at the front end of it that's moving the sediment. It's a shrimp, and that's a, I have no idea. A dead something, maybe? Oh, yeah, I might be eating it. Yeah, I think he's eating it. It's like a squid or something. Yeah, it almost looks like a squid, like the top half of a squid got ripped. Huh. Ooh. So we could be witnessing a squid fall? Maybe. Oh, fish maybe. on the Oh, Argus. hey. Oh. <laughs> is it the same is that fish? It is the same yeah. fish. Yeah, well, look at the fish in Argus. Now he's going to Argus. He's dedicated. Oh, oh no, he's, he's going <laughs> directly for... Uh, he knows where the cameras are thrusters. and everything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am not as agile. <laughs> wow. Big personality. Did you get some good stills of that? I did. Cool. Thank awesome. you. I'll keep heading up. I'm not seeing a fish that looks similar to that Towards guy. Towards waypoint two. Well, that book Hopefully is also for... Hopefully we start seeing some more. Yeah, yeah this within is... The reef. I have... Uh, for the audience, I am currently looking through a uh, field guide to the Samoan Archipelago, which was written and illustrated by Meryl Rose, Rose Golden. Uh, it's a very cool, like... Roger for what? Sort of a guide to, like, the near shore environment, but I don't know if it's going to be as helpful for the open water. Yeah. It's a very pretty book, though. Yeah, great illustrations. We just had a quick flurry of questions coming in. We did uh, retrieve the uh, crab, and it is... Now part of uh, the samples Aww. that we've Aww. collected. Is that trash? Or a shell? It Nudge looks it. almost like plastic. Yeah, like it sort of has plastic. a contour to it. Almost looks like a football. Like a... Oh. Like <laughs> it does oh, kind of look yeah. like a foam like football. Like a foam football. Yeah. Oh. Can we poke it? Let's poke it. I think it's a foam football. Yeah, that's what it's exactly what it looks that's like. That's what it looks like. Can we sample it? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Can you stop the ship? Oh, so there's another potential that piece of trash. That would be so small, though. 
I mean, it's that not is even really small. 10 centimeters. Oh, mm. is it? Oh, yeah, look where the lasers, lasers are up top. It could be like one of those little. You stopped the ship? Is it stopped? Nerf ball thing. Okay. okay. You want to poke it? Yeah. It's Nerf or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so these RVs, uh, Argus is negatively buoyant because Argus is just very big, heavy of steel. Um, I think that Hercu might be close enough. Hercules is uh, slightly positively buoyant, but oh, it depends on our star. samples. To the left. Oh, those so Hercules would technically gently float back to the surface. You're going to poke it, Scott? Uh, awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. Summer's uh, the designated poker. Poker, yep. What are you? <laughs> Let me just get my bubble camera on it. So okay. let's take bets. Who th who's got it being biological? I think it's a piece of trash. Kind of looks like a baseball or something. It's pretty small. You want me to zoom in? Yep. Sorry. You're kind of quiet. That's so small, though. It is. <gasps> uh oh. That was an eggshell. Oh, I think it's a type of echinoderm. Is that a crab inside it? No, no, just kidding. I think it's a. Yeah, it was, it was very it. fragile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a very. Was that the it's empty test? I think yeah. so, yeah. So that was a test of an urchin? Yeah. Not a sea urchin, but something yeah. closely related to a sea urchin. Definitely an echinoderm. Urchin killer. It was so <laughs> fragile. <laughs> so fragile. Funny, it totally looked like foam or something. Who had biologic? Who won the bet? <laughs> <laughs> totally fooled me. So it's nerf or nothing. Nothing. Nerf or nothing. It's really funny how that word like kind of worked its way into like popular culture. Like when something gets nerfed <laughs> in a game, you make it weaker. It's now a verb. Yeah. Awesome. We're good to keep moving? Yeah. Just Did you guys ever have like those nerf swords or like because my brother always wanted to get one of those. I, don't I was think I like, have. no, I really don't want this in the house. So it looks like we're going up now. We're almost to W2. Yeah, I see that. The hermit crab did stay in his box, and we were able to uh, recover him as a sample. Sea stone. Thanks for asking. Ooh, that's a tough, hard-hitting question. Scomer, right? Scott Jr. Scott Jr. Jr. Scott, Scott Jr. Scott, <laughs> <laughs> Scott Summer. People it are it was referring Scummer, to you right? as Zeus. I think so. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, that, that is that that something still a thing. At about one o'clock. Oh yeah, what is that? Yeah. Oh. Looks like a scarecrow. Something, right? <laughs> hmm. What is that? Can I zoom in on that white thing? Yeah, yeah please. Let's check it out. Fish? So, oh. oh, I don't know what that is. That's cool. What in the world is that? Oh. Oh, those are gooseneck barnacles. What? Gooseneck barnacles? Okay. Yeah. You're going to land? Yeah, for Tell sure. Tell us more. Yeah. A photo on yeah, So, land. like other barnacles, are going to settle on hard surfaces and then grow out little... I think they're good. Oh, sorry. Goose barnacles, not gooseneck barnacles. They do look like goosenecks, though. They do yeah, similar. I'll give you that. I'll give yeah. you that. But they okay, um, are going to be filter feeders. Sort of mm. like Very extending cool. out and grabbing... Mm -hmm. from the seawater around them. Let me grab a Whoa. few grabs of this. I've never Very seen that before. Cool. Wow, that I've never really seen cool. one that looks like that. Yeah. They look like it weird looks like mushrooms. It's breathing or something, too. <laughs> like. It's called a stocked barnacle. Oh, it's a barnacle. Oh, yep. that makes mm -hmm. sense. There's that part the that... crustaceans. It's kind of got the, the waves to it. Nope. And there's a part that seems to have lost some of those waves. Difficult. Like. 
Did he get that's attacked like, or something? Oh, down towards the base. Yeah, I can't tell if that's like an injury or. It could be, maybe like a rock or something hit it. Mm. So what are those so darker white things inside of it on the ends? On the end. I'm gonna like guess on the that those one on are the just left? markings. Or like, are you talking about the bright yeah, white? Looking? Yeah, light so there's like a white thing in the center, Where and then around the edges. I think it's just a coloration. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think it's they, just they color. figured it out. Because they're identical on all the. There's a little hermit yeah, crab on it. A little hermit crab. A little tiny hermit crab. Where is he at? He's at the base of the bottom one. You can see his uh, oh, I shell see horizontally. Yeah, I got him. And there's a tiny squat lobster to the right. And yep. Possibly an even tinier one. Well, there is a tiny, the, tiny one. Yeah. Oh, hello. There's oh. a lot. I almost wonder if we should try to sample. I don't know. Would this be worth sampling? Um. Oh, yeah, there's like a I mean, smaller barnacle on the surface. Like the one to the left. You can see it's um, oh, yeah, like coming that. out to feed. Is there a barnacle on the barnacle? Yeah. A barnacle on the barnacle. Oh, interesting. So like Small if we were to guy. approach this with the our claw, would it retract? I don't believe so. They, they could retract a little bit, but it's okay. not like they're going to go contract completely under the ground or anything like that. They're probably on like maybe one, they're all kind of attacked probably on one rock. That okay. would be my guess. One and so you could pick the whole thing up and take it if we wanted to. Yeah. Hey, is this five things next to each other? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you count the little one there poking yeah. out, that is I five things. Oh. <laughs> could you separate it all, though? Or is it all mm. part of one? It looks like they're separate organisms yeah, that just are on the same the rock. The same, yeah. I don't oh, you can eat these. Yeah, you can. We were once confused for goose eggs. <laughs> goose neck barnacles, those look really cool. Would it be worth sampling for that? Um, it's a large I'd sample. Yeah, I was just yeah. going to, that's, that's my concern. I'd say we'll pass because it is pretty large and maybe it's with like the ethanol. It's like 10 centimeters. In, oh, yeah. That's Might take fair. up, yeah. We'll pass. Ooh, wow, these are really expensive delicacies. On our Continue 9 o'clock. There's something white underneath the rock. Oh. Mm, good eye. Oh, yeah. Has anyone in the science chat said anything? Not, not yet. Is that a sponge? Is that a sponge? That looks like a sponge. There's a tiny little crab crawling up there. <laughs> oh, there is. At the top of the screen. Yeah. I think that's a sponge. Looks like it from here. Glass sponge. Where's the crab? Oh, there's the crab. It's like orange looking, orange in color. Yeah. yeah. He's oh, crawling. He's tiny. Oh, there's something underneath the rock. No. Look up. Never mind. Yeah, there's something underneath that yeah, rock. Yeah, that's the crab I think they were talking about. Another one? Underneath this rock. Oh, yeah. oh there's two right. the right. Yeah, there's something hey. coming out. Oh. There are a lot of crabs here. Yeah. Yeah. Little baby ones. Hi. Do the creatures of the five of them all have to be the same species? <laughs> Preferably, yes. Okay. Or There's a yes. yawn break there. Yes. Sorry, I had to yawn. <laughs> Moving on? Yeah, let's go ahead and move on. Cool oh, I don't know. The quest for five of something continues. That's not the easiest thing to find. I know. Do you know what they're trying to say? Well, they don't. Yes. I'm yeah. not Pick sure. I have, would have to look at the, oh, let's see yeah. if I have it on C the other on sheet. The left. Yeah, it's like a little squall thing. Oh. I mean, we could get them. They don't have to if be next right, right, right next to each other. But What was that sea star called again? I don't remember. I like to call it the ravioli one. one. Yeah, the ravioli <laughs> one. That's the unofficial right. name. I got it to 30. <laughs> that's the Boyardee was, sea star. <laughs> there you go. Boyardee. Another fish in the center view? Yeah. I saw one of those fish. You saw yeah. another fish? Oh. In the center. Yeah, he's right Some sort of a fish. Yeah. It's like he's burying himself in the sand to hide. There's a shrimp on the left. <laughs> Just went out of view. Is that another one of those eggs? For eggs fish? Down there? 
Not sure. Another test. Kind of <laughs> looks like it. The crush test. The urchin killer. <laughs> urchin killer. It was already dead. <laughs> Come on, am I going to get a break on that? <laughs> it was very, very fragile. Everybody needs a nickname. <laughs> you want to collect that? No, but maybe we can try to get a photo. Gotcha. Yeah, that looks that like the same thing we saw before. Just uh, ah. zoom, zoom out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There okay, you there go. We go. Perfect. That's a tiny seed right next yeah. to it. Aww. Hmm. Wow. Oh, I wonder if the one we just... Oh, that there's a little sea stone. So what did you say this was again? A test. It's so it's the skeleton yeah. of a okay. kind of derm. This one looks a I'm little more oblong, though. It, it does. does. Yeah. So I almost think it might be softer. Mm. Or do you think it's the same thing as before? I think it might be. It's like really loud yeah, you all can kind of see the pattern <laughs> that I mean, the test would like make. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you capture some stills? I did. Cool. Awesome. I'm going to go zoom out then. Yep. I'll go ahead and continue. Moving on. We're going to pass this test as we move forward. <laughs> Ace this test. <laughs> I really love how colors. much the brittle stars move. Uh, yeah, they they're can interesting. Really fun to watch them move, too. Yeah. Lots of brittle stars. There's another brittle star. Are, are we on a slope, or are we thing? just at an angle? Yeah, well, there's a fish. We're, We're going up fish. a slope. Oh, wait. Bottom right, there's a fish on the, gr on the floor. Okay. Uh, <laughs> back in the feet. Okay, four in... Argus can. On the right side. Hey, guys. Hi, on a four. Yeah. Oh, I missed him. Mm. Oh, it's still there. Yeah, look at that fish. He just oh, blends in. I see. Are you going to sit down? Yes. Oh, my Kay. goodness. Is this oh, like the shrimp. one? Uh, is this okay, like the one that did the dance for us the other day? Oh. It looks a little. Mm. It does look like that. No, no that the other one had a big dance. beard. And he oh, was wow. Flat. Look at that. Wow. All right, I'm going to grab some grabs. Grab those wow, grabs. Wow, look at those fins. He doesn't seem super happy Huge. about us coming. There you, you go, wow. settle down again. You're cool. Hey, buddy. What are you? Those are some really big fans. I want to send them messages. Huge. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> we must be able to turn around really quick. He's turning some lights on and off. Close encounters. We need to just send... Uh, some of that drum circle we had last night down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, its stomach looks kind of rounded. I was going to say, it its does. stomach looks... Do you think it's gravid? Could be. <gasps> it's what? Gravid. That's With the term eggs. for a pregnant fish. Yes. Really? Yeah. Yep. That's a new one. I've never, never heard that heard before. That. Wow. Well, now oh, you've heard of it. Fish, I have heard of that. Reptile, it amphibian. could be. It I just applies to fish. You have to no. see one. Humans too? That Gravid? Uh, something with eggs. No, I don't know. You would say that even. You would say eggs. Well, we have both syringe heralds. Oh, technically it can include pregnant carrying eggs or young. Oh. That's comes cool from fish. Latin gravidi gravidus, which means laden pregnant, which comes from gravis for heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's the type of thing you want to tell your wife. <laughs> <laughs> you're graphic. <laughs> you're Honey, you're a so little, graphic. There's a little crab. There's a little you're little glowing. <laughs> <laughs> there's an enemy at 11 o'clock. Yeah, I see that. We going to go up there? Skip over the crab? Hey, friend. Sure. I, th I think we zoomed in on Many a crab. few already. Let's see what's in this little... Oh, I thought there was a big rock. It's just an enemy. It's some dark sand. He's a good size anemone, though. A hefty boy. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if those were attached to the bottom, like if you could just scoop it up. The anemone? Yeah. You want to try? These ones? <laughs> no. It's <laughs> no. no. way for a challenge. too big. That one's going to be <laughs> really big to sample. This guy looks like he's just on top of the rubble, and because there's not any strong currents, he's able to be pretty steady. My guess would be that you could easily like stick your hand under the sand and just pick them up. He's cool. probably just attached to all those little pebbles, pieces okay. of rubble, yeah. Aww. Oh, let me get okay. up some good grabs with this Here, guy. I'll zoom out. Oh, Thank wait. you. you get, I got him. You, you got him? Okay. Cool. Yeah, I got him. 
All right, let's go ahead and uh, continue. Oh, I was going to try to scoop him up. I, I was oh. wondering why you were picking your... No, don't no, just, don't, no, don't, don't gonna bother gonna Randy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Scott, put that <laughs> arm away. <laughs> let him, we're going to let him be. Uh, we saved it you from Scott. It was just a test. I wasn't going to damage it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just answering the question. I wasn't, oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't instigating to do it. <laughs> Instigator. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be. <laughs> I hope we run into some rock formations. Yeah, the only thing that I've seen that's looked like rocks just look like uh, sediment clumped together with manganese. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I keep black? thinking what of the arc is There's a black yeah. thing there. Oh, sea yeah. cucumber or I was stick. Say cucumber. Oh, there's stick something else cucumber. at 11 o'clock. Sea cucumber? Yes. Stick, maybe? What's your vote? Place sea your cucumber. vote. I think it's just a shaded sea area. Cucumber. I vote sea cucumber. Text 333 yeah. for sea cucumber. It's just a shaded area. It's a, it's a burrow. It's a hole. Wait, it's a hole. wait, a hole. wait, wait. Woo. No, that's too dark for a hole. <laughs> too dark for a hole. Put oh. the lasers in it. Let's see what happens. I think oh. it's a okay. sea cucumber so covered yep. in <laughs> <laughs> She's a hole. I want to see the hole. It's, it's not, it's 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 so, so not a hole. It's it is a hole. I think it is a hole. The laser disappears into it. No, it doesn't. If you the laser's before Can you brighten up the no, I think video? It you'll solve it's a hole. And the laser's in front of it. Scott can poke the hole and prove it. It's definitely a hole. Okay, poke the hole. I don't think it's a <laughs> hole. That's okay. not how light you can works. zoom it. Like, or make it yeah. bright. Okay. Make it bright and you can see Wait, wait. Is that a fish that's like buried under the sand? No, that couldn't be its mouth. I was like, was <laughs> I was just like <laughs> no, looking at it. I'm like, is that a mouth of a fish? <laughs> That'd be way too convenient. <laughs> that would be huge. <laughs> and then the eyeballs pop up. Bing, bing. <laughs> <laughs> so what, who won? Is it a hole? I it's don't know. It's not a hole. That's a hole. Light doesn't it was work neither that stick way. nor wait. It's a ledge. No, it's not. What is that laser reflecting off of? <laughs> it's hmm. like, uh, There's I think it's trash. I think it's a hole. Poke can it. We, can we zoom we in We can poke again? a hole. Yes, I can zoom in on on the Let's unidentified objects. Can you make Let's it just see. make the video brighter? And or absent objects. <laughs> it's a hole. It's definitely see? a ledge. It's a hole. You can see it's the shadows underneath hole. it. Yeah. Is it a you rock? See. You see how I'm the laser sorry, goes into Lily, it now? I am swayed. I think it is a hole. You just saw, yeah, right there. That's not how light works. We would be shining the light on the other side of the hole. <laughs> Maybe it's super deep. We can't see the end. Fish mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's Maybe not it's a hole. Like a <laughs> okay, whatever. I, I, it's not a hole. Like, what but if it's just a really camouflaged fish? And then the smaller fish is like, oh, it's just a great hole. <laughs> it's not. your grass and right straws. <laughs> Let's see what's up at 11 o'clock. There was something else up there, too. Oh, you want to zoom in on the thing? Yeah, gonna, the thing that was up there. Before we got distracted by this. Do it. Do it. <laughs> the thing yeah. that was 100% uh, a hole. <laughs> It's hey. not a hole. It's zero percent a hole. A hundred percent a hole. It's like a little no. ledge. Is that a rock? What is it then? It, is that a rock? I think That's a rock. I honestly think it's trash. That's yeah. a rock. You were looking a, for a rock. rock. It's a rock. Did you oh, do we want to sample it? it? Hana, could this be the one? This could be the one. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's, uh, can we get the lasers on it? See how You're big it is. Okay, here, here, let me zoom out so you can see them. Are you going up to it? Yeah. Wait, are we going to poke the hole? <laughs> no, we're flying over no, the hole. We're, we're going to look at the hole. rock. Hole. Wait, did you just call it a hole? You just, you just called it a hole. We're going to poke a hole. It's not a hole. <laughs> Are we going to sample this? Welcome. Um, or we're gonna Welcome to the dark side, Lily. That's not how light works. Um, you would be shining light on the far side of the hole. <laughs> it might just be the angle of the beam, though. No, it's yeah, not how light works. It's rock. not a we hole. We haven't gotten a rock yet. Let's, uh, let's there you go, grab Scott. it. Sample time. What um, um, what box do we got on. for it, Peyton? Um, it looks let's uh, try hole. to do the starboard bio boxes, just because like it's a rock. Uh, any of those are open, so if we can do a smaller one like A, that would be great. Oh yeah, it's a hole. Zero <laughs> percent <laughs> hole. Wait. Yeah, it's just like a little alcove. Oh no, we're gonna crush it. Uh, <laughs> why did we? That was a hole. Scott, why did you just <laughs> you just poke it with the entire oh, RV? We just crushed the hole, yet it's still there, so it's not a hole. <laughs> you just called it a hole. It's not a hole. You oh uh, whatever. <laughs> you all suck. <laughs> I know I'm right. That's all that matters. <laughs> 
Alright, let's see if we can <laughs> get this rock. Whoa, something in the water column on the right. Oh, just Are you the seeing the fly that's on our screen? No, no, no. It was like a, <laughs> there's a four-pointed creature that drifted by, and I thought it was really cool.